What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be playing a full grand challenge trying to go all the way from 0 to 12 wins and this time we're going to be using Expo. So it's been a really long time since I've done a video on Expo and I think the last time I did a 12 win grand challenge with Expo I used 3.0 but now I'm going to be using the new best Expo deck in the game. It's going to be queen bow that has the rocket and the tornado in it because tornado pairs really well with the rocket as well as the valkyrie and then it has cannon in the deck because cannon in my opinion is way better than tesla you guys could use tesla if you want but cannon is a lot better and there's a lot of expo players right now on the top of ladder using cannon and the really good thing is that queen is not getting a nerf even though i think she's pretty broken she's not getting a nerf in the upcoming balances so this deck will still be pretty solid even when the balances go live so before we head into the first match we do have a sponsor for for today's video. Thank you so much Surfshark for sponsoring today's video, the best and most affordable VPN for protecting your personal data online. You can use Surfshark on unlimited devices and there's dozens of different regions you can connect to so you'll be able to find the one that is the best for you. And now I'll show you guys one of my favorite ways to use this VPN. So let's say you want to watch one of your favorite shows on Netflix but it's not available in your region. Let's say you're located in the US. So you can simply switch to the Canadian location and then you're going to have your shows available to watch. When you have Surfshark, it makes it a lot safer to browse the internet or check your social media when traveling or even simply connecting to a Wi-Fi network you've never used before. So what are you guys waiting for? Stay safe online today by downloading Surfshark VPN by scanning the QR code or clicking the link in the description. And if you use my promo code BOSSCR, you're going to get a massive 83% discount. And there's absolutely no risk because there's a 30 day money back guarantee. All right, guys, let's head into the first match. So we found a first game here against Jack. So let's go ahead and give him the good luck and see what he wants to do. And yeah, guys, Rocket is really good inside of expo now i would probably recommend using it or at least giving it a try if you're used to running expo with fireball rocket is just really solid in this meta um i think there's just so many matchups where if you can't get an expo connection you can always go for that rocket cycle and also if you guys don't have the archer queen um leveled up um you can play this deck in grand challenges still so there's no need to worry basically what i'm playing right now um okay i just missed the uh tornado oh my gosh it's fine though i mean this is a pretty good matchup and he doesn't have a big spell so even though that was a pretty bad start um okay that, that was a horrible tornado all right yeah that was um okay this is let's just call this a warm-up match okay he missed the freeze i don't know what's happening right now but um <laughs> We're both making some questionable plays, to say the least, but either way, uh, we're still going to win this one, no worries. Um, I'm glad that I, you know, remained calm and I just, you know, took advantage of him, you know, not having bowler in cycle, and we're completely fine. Um, but yeah, that was a awful tornado. Um, yeah, even I do just stupid mistakes like that sometimes for just no reason. I mean, finger slips, wrong placement, you know, you guys know how it is. All right, so we'll just go Valkyrie into the uh, the bowler here. So he's got the Inferno Drag. Rocket gets so much value in this matchup. And the uh, Archer Queen. It's a, uh, as I said, it's a pretty solid matchup. This is definitely one where I think having uh, this variation as opposed to other Expo variants is going to make just your, your life a lot easier when uh, defending here. Because, I mean, you just have so many tools of dealing with the uh, the balloon. And even the cannon can take two hits from a uh, balloon now after the balloon rework. But we all know by now it was pretty much a nerf. So we're going to cycle queen in the left because we know that he's probably going to want to go for a balloon. Same lane. Uh, because the other tower has a lot of health still. So I'd be pretty surprised if he does go for a balloon in that lane. But it looks like he does. I mean, I was not expecting that, as I said. So we can just go for a Rocket Tornado here. Just ensuring we defend it, because there was also that Inferno Drag, so I did not want to mess around there, take any chances. Like, I didn't want to, you know, go for a Tornado. And we don't even need the King activated, because the game, you know, is already almost over. So we just had to defend in that situation. So yeah, that's going to be GG. Uh... Horrible start, but um, I guess we made it entertaining for the content, right? That'll be my excuse. But all right, just a warm up, no worries. We got the win, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go into the second match. 
So we got Valk, we got Expo, Queen, and Cannon. Okay, he's going to go E-Barb's first place. So let's just go Queen, set up some defense here. We could also go Log, maybe. Um, okay, yeah, this will be a good Log here. Um, and then we'll also need to play a Valkyrie. Just because I would rather do this than play the Queen's ability. This way we also save the Queen's ability on offense here. And he's going to have to probably overcommit quite a lot on top of this. So pop the ability. Yeah, as you can see, he had a waste of mini P.E.K.K.A. So that was definitely the right play there. And now he's in quite a big elixir deficit. I think I'm actually just going to go Expo in the opposite lane immediately. Since we know that he's low on elixir. And this Inferno Drag should be nice and easy to stop here. We can just go for an Electro Spirit. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to tornado that hog to the king because it's already lost a lot of health. It's going to be close. Uh, oh, nice. That freeze actually helped us out. I think if he didn't freeze, the hog might have died because the right tower would have helped out. So we might have not got the king activation. So he helped us out. That was um, nice of him to do that, I guess. Little did he know. Little did he know that would benefit us. So... Let's see if he plays something behind his tower. We could... Yep. Thank you. He's just making this game so much easier for me. He's just giving me value. Alright. Ooh, it does die, unfortunately. The E-Barbs have a lot of DPS, so... It does go down there. Valk will clean those up easily, though. Um, Rage isn't going to do much for him. Valk just has so much health. Cannon. And this is the other thing, like, about why I think Valk... Why I think this is the best Expo deck right now is because the Valk just is pretty much better than the Knight in, like, almost every way. Like, there's so few decks where you want to use Knight, you know? Like, even Logbait now either uses Valk or Mighty Miner and um, Mortar too. Like, just there's not really any deck that uses Knight. I mean, even Splash Shared, you're better off running Valkyrie or Skeleton King, right? So, Valkyrie's just way more valuable. Especially when you um, got the uh, Tornado and Rocket. I think it makes even more sense to use it then. Okay, he's going to freeze. I'm just going to go cannon. We don't need to, like, panic or overcommit. I mean, we have so much health on our tower. We'll just, uh, I mean, why not? We'll just go for the two crown. Because, I mean, mine as well. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be GG. Nato gets us so much value in this matchup. There's a good amount of people running Hog EQ, so having that Tornado is really, really clutch, whereas if you're running a variation without the Tornado, you're going to have a bit harder of a time defending it because you just have to rely only on your building, which is just going to get EQ'd away, so it's really nice having that extra counter to it. All right, 2-0. See you guys when we find the next one. All right, we're against G Prado here. We got Valk. Queen, Log Cannon. So let's just wait a couple seconds to see if this guy wants to do anything. This isn't a very, very cheap Expo deck, so you don't need to, you know, rush to make the first play. You can just, you know, be a little bit patient. But if they don't do anything after a little while, I think cycling Log is fine. And then probably the next best thing to cycle after that would just be... You could probably go Queen without too much of a risk. Because, I mean, even if they decide to pressure other lane, you've got, you know, Cannon available. Worst thing they could do maybe is like rocket or lightning it, but okay. So he just goes giant skeleton. We're gonna go expo in the other lane because he leaked a lot of elixir and he played that really late, and it's also a good counter to the expo. So I might as well try to go in, but it is gonna target the giant skeleton, which might actually be fine because now we don't have to worry about it reaching our tower, and we're still going to get an expo connection. So that ended up working out pretty nicely. We defended. There was no fear of that, you know, giant skeleton getting to our tower, and we got all that damage on his right tower. So I think we could just go electric spirit at the bridge. Using it with expo can be nice because you don't have to, I mean, you don't care about a king activation, whereas if you're running it with hog or log bait, it could cost you the game, but that's not the case with expo. So we log here. Um, we'll hit him with another expo. Uh, hopefully, okay, he probably will just go Giant Skeleton. Yeah, but he, ooh, nice, he played it late, so that's really good. Alright, let's get ready to defend here. I'm gonna go ahead and Cannon, and then we need to get a good Valkyrie on top of everything. Probably go for, if it can swing twice, that would be great. Yeah, nice. I mean, see that? That right there just shows why the Valkyrie is just a lot better than the Knight. I mean... If I had knight, you know what would have happened? I probably would have lost my tower there. 
I don't know how I would have stopped that. I mean, the witch skeletons and, you know, that lumberjack, they would have still been alive. It would have gotten kind of scary. Okay, he went for a prediction... Tesla, that was actually a kind of decent play on his end because I was about to expo, so he just got the timing kind of wrong. But it's not a bad idea, I mean. But didn't work out. Alright, so he's going to go Giant Skelly. We just go ahead and go Valkyrie here. And go Electra Spirit. Just log all this jazz. Okay, he's got the clone. Very interesting. I mean, it, to be fair, it does pair well with the Giant Skeleton, but it's kind of weird that he's using it without something like Skeleton Barrel. I know he's got the Witch, but I just think, like, overall, not having a wing condition that goes well with it, like Lava or Skeleton Barrel, kind of makes it a pretty weird clone variation. So, yeah, it's going to be GG. I guess he gave up. So, yeah, another nice and easy win. Well, I shouldn't say, like, another, because, I mean, to be fair, the first game, like, we screwed up badly, but another win regardless. So, yeah, we're, um... A fourth of the way through the uh, GC now. Getting to the fourth one. We're against Blink SB. Very interesting starting hand. Only buildings and spells. Sometimes that happens with Expo. So, nice and easy king activation to start this game off. I'll take it. And... Uh, I'm actually going to Expo because why not? His hog is out of cycle. So, I mean, yeah, it, like it's easy for him to defend, but eh, why not? And then I don't think we need a rocket this. We probably can just go Valk and Queen. And that Valk is going to pretty much take out his Queen. I'm going to go Electro Spirit here, though, just to... Oh, got two shots? I thought it was only going to get... Uh, okay, luckily we get a couple shots, so that kind of evens things out. Yeah, that's an okay start. So yeah, Hog EQ. So this is one where you're going to be really grateful you have Tornado. We're just going to log. And then if he cycles anything behind his tower, well, I shouldn't say anything because a giant skeleton, I'm not going to rock it, but... Hmm... This is kind of a bad cycle because I don't really want to... I don't know. I guess I could Expo and it probably would be okay. But it's just a little bit... If if he does that in double or triple elixir, I can tornado the giant skeleton back and get the Expo to lock on the tower. In single though, I shouldn't do that because it's too aggressive. That got awfully close to my tower. I was actually pretty nervous. I thought the queen was maybe not going to pull it. It did, though. King activation doesn't matter that much, I guess. Alright, so now, if he goes for a giant skelly like that... This is going to get... Okay, yeah, that was a really bad hog. Alright, so if he goes for that giant skeleton, we NATO it. Oh, we went cannon. Okay. That was... I'm gonna rock it. Because he just spent so much on that expo. I gotta... Alright, cool. We're winning. We're in a pretty good situation, I'd say. I'm just going to E-Spirit. Let's see what he wants to do. Okay, so let's go Queen. We have Cannon in Cycle when he goes Hog. I'm going to Cannon now, actually. We can pre-place it and then just Valk this. Alright, let's go Expo and see what he wants to do. So he chooses to cannon. Oh, that I think that's GG. I think we won. Because now we just need one more rocket, right? Oh, we take it anyway. GG, nice. Yeah, so that shows you Hoggy Q definitely not that bad. In fact, I even made some mistakes. Like, I did some 
pretty bad tornadoes on top of the hog rider i don't know what's been going on with my tornadoes today i mean they've been kind of bad we had that one against the balloon that almost cost us the game and then i think i did two bad tornadoes that game against the hog rider so we're gonna have to get our tornadoes in check later on in the grand challenge that's for sure we can't be making those misplays when we start playing against some um better opponents like at a uh, eight wins or more okay so princess at the bridge first play of the game that's kind of annoying so another cool trick with the Valk is you can actually fully counter a barrel. I'm glad that that just happened so I could showcase you guys that. So as you can see, you play it behind your tower as soon as you see the barrel and it'll fully counter it. So that gives you another counter to barrels besides log. And there's a good amount of log bait in this meta right now with the Mighty Miner. But this guy's using it with Knight. And I was just talking about how log bait Knight is not very good. So very interesting that this guy is choosing to use it. We're going to go ahead and expo here. And he's also using Goblin Gang. Wow. Um, so Knight is out of cycle. His only play is to rocket this. And he had to play it so late because he was down an elixir by quite a lot. So incredible start to this game. And he's also using a horrible log bait variant. So I have a feeling we'll probably win this one without too much of an issue. And because he rocketed so late, I can actually rocket his tower. And it won't be that much of a risk. Because if he princesses at the bridge, I'm just going to cannon it, and then I'll just log his barrel. It's as simple as that. In fact, actually, I'm just going to activate the king tower. I think that's an even better play. And then he might go princess at the bridge. Okay, he did. That was very predictable. I'm going to go Valk. I think Valk is the better play than queen, because if I went queen, he could go knight to counter it, whereas... Now when he goes knight to counter the Valk, I can queen on top of it and it's going to get more of a counter push because Goblin Gang is not that good against the queen. Um, well, when he does that, then then it, I have to use the ability. That's good. That was good because it forced me to use the ability. That was a smart play on his end. He had like a dual lane push. Okay, that was a horrible rocket though. And I don't think he can afford an, an a... Oh, wow. What? He couldn't... I didn't think he could afford the Inferno. Wow, I'm actually surprised. That was, that was well played on his end. Good sequence by him. I'm going to rocket this, though. Um, he might princess the bridge. Yeah, he does. So that, again, was pretty predictable. And... So far, so good. It's going to queen. That goblin gang wasn't very good. I will cannon this, though. This will also prevent him from... And by the way, like, every time he goes rocket on that queen, what that allows me to do is just rocket his tower and give us a larger lead than we already have. So sooner or later, he's going to have to stop doing that. Because usually the only way for the logbait player to get damage in this matchup is by rocketing the tower. Um, okay. That was a good defense by hit on on uh, his end. I think we'll just let him have that, and we'll just go Valk to take out the princess. I'll go queen here. Let's see if he rockets. If he does, I'm just gonna go, um... Okay, wow, he played a rocket on it again. Okay. That one was probably not as bad, though, since he hit the Valkyrie, too, so it got him a lot of value. So we're just two rockets away from winning this one. This is kind of like a pretty, like, good representation of showing, like, Rocket Cycle and how broken it can be in certain matchups. So I'll just log this. Um, We'll go Expo. Oh, wow, he just did that. Okay, so now he might need to Rocket the Expo. Maybe not, though. Uh, Well, that... Hmm. And it doesn't even matter. We're going to win anyway. Just got to get back to one more rocket. Dude, that's rocket cycle for you. <laughs> Fun match, but it's what you, you know, it's what you got to do, I guess. It's what you got to do, because you can't just always rely on expo connections. And with this type of deck, you just need one or two good expo locks, and you pretty much secure the game at that point with just rocket cycling. You don't need to get another expo lock in the majority of matchups. I think it really depends on what you're against, but in general, 
Um, you don't need to only, you know, just rely on the expo damage. All right, we're almost halfway through now at 5-0. and Okay, against Patrick here. So, okay, he's going to go Hog. Ooh, I should have, because I had Tornado as my next card. It would have been difficult to react to, because to be fair, he just went Hog first play of the game. So, it's kind of hard to, like, immediately react to it. So, I was thinking, like, I could have just cycled Electro Spirit and then... Okay, so, he's going to go Balloon. This time, let's not mess up the Tornado. Uh, go ahead and get that King activated. This time, again, not missing it, which is good. We got that down. All right, um... Go ahead and pop the ability here. Minions are going to die, and then we'll even get some damage on the tower unless he decides to... Okay, so I would rather not rocket that. I think Valk will be enough since we have the king activated. And he's so low on Elixir right now. I don't know what this deck is. Like, what in the world? This deck is horrible. I don't know what he's using. So log ready if he's got some sort of ground card. Likely he'll balloon on top of this, though. Interesting. Very interesting. Interesting deck, interesting play style. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Quite interesting. Alright. Uh, just balloon at the bridge, okay. Cannon this. I think that fully counters it. We don't even have to do anything else. Wait, what the? Okay, well, not when he's got a- Oh! That expo. <laughs> Uh, how about that? That was nice. Man, just nothing's working out for this guy. Like, he went for the freeze. I thought it was good, but... That expo was in sight range. That was clutch. This man's deck is wild. The expo again. Might as well go for the two crown. He gave up. Hey, let's go. We're going to get a rare three crown with expo. That doesn't happen very often. Pretty much, like, when it happens, it's because they gave up. Like, 99% of the time. If someone gets 3 crown by Expo, and they didn't give up, they're bad. Like, that's all- there's- there's just no other possible explanation. Anyway, we're halfway through 6-0. and oh. So far, so good. It's gonna get a little harder though, I'm sure. But hey, maybe we will be able to go flawless this GC. Um, okay, really? He went balloon first play of the game? Um... That fully counters it, so I'm going to Expo because we got a pretty positive trade off of that. This is good. Really good start. Um, he's probably running Lava, so this is going to be probably not that bad of a matchup, but the Inferno Drag is going to be a nuisance because we don't really have a... Uh, I'm going to Valk the Bridge just because I, I thought he was going to go like Lava on the back or something. He's got Mighty Miner, so actually, I don't even know if he's got Inferno Drag. He might be using Mega Minion in this variant. Okay, so he is going to go for his Lava. Um, I think we can Expo. Usually, you can go Expo into Lavas. Um, of course, depends on the Lava variant, but most of the time, it's a pretty good play. And that Mega Minion was really bad because it's going to go in front, so it's just going to die. Um, I don't think there was any way... Alright, I'm gonna rocket this. I don't think there was any way I could have protected the queen, but it's okay. I mean, I guess she did her job. She pretty much killed the whole lava, so that was good. We can just go cannon here. Uh, I think even if he sends it in the other lane, the cannon will still target it, so we're fine. Yeah. Alright, we're still in an okay situation. This might end up being a two-tower game, 
and this might be lava is one of the only two tower games where you don't need to panic too much when you're using expo if you're against any kind of ground deck being in a two tower game is a horrible situation as i'm sure a lot of you expo players know who are watching right now so we're gonna go ahead and queen and then i think we're just gonna go expo we want to take his tower here shouldn't be too hard to do since his mighty miner isn't in cycle um i'm gonna log this just to try to Okay, well, I didn't even need to log that. It's okay, but yeah, I didn't have to. Alright, this is going to be interesting. NATO's OP. We're going to expo, keep up the pressure. Because he has to take our tower, right? See that desperation lava? So that expo's good. Make sure he has to defend so he can't build a massive lava push. And that should be GG. Nice. Pretty happy with how I played this one. I think we did a good job of pressuring. As you can see, you want to go same lane majority of the time when you're against lava. Especially with this variation. Uh, with 3.0, you maybe want to switch lanes. Uh, there's different play styles. It's very interesting. That's the thing about Expo. Um, there's quite a few Expo players who are insane with it. But all of them have a have a little bit of a different play style than each other. And I notice Lava in particular is one where 3.0 players have a different play style sometimes. So I th always thought that was pretty interesting. Um, Alright, we get the Expo Mastery. I didn't actually think I had it at level 4 already. I thought it would have been lower because I don't use it that often. But I guess maybe I've used it a little bit more than I thought I have. Alright, 7-0. See you guys when we find the 8th game. Alright, our next one. Notice we have we played against a lot of opponents who don't have Pass Royale. How many have had Pass Royale who have played against this video? Not a lot. That's kind of crazy now that I think about it. We're going to Expo because he just cycled Cannon Cart. And Cannon Cart is like one of the best counters to Expo. So when they play it, I'm obviously going to pressure in the other lane. I'm going to Cannon. I was going to Valk the Cannon Cart. But him going for that Sparky... D made me go for cannon instead because Valk is a very good tank for the Sparky. Um, I think it's besides Rocket gonna is the best counter to the Sparky and well Electro Spirit, but Electro Spirit can't fully counter it. All right, so this is already looking like a pretty good matchup because this deck does great against Sparky since you of course have Rocket and you have Electro Spirit. Of course, there's some variations that can be hard to beat, like if they're using Sparky Golden Knight, but I think even then it's still a pretty good matchup. So let's see what he does here. I'm probably just going to pop the ability, and we... Uh, okay, he... That's pretty bad, actually. I didn't know that he had a Lightning. So he ended up getting some good damage there. That was well played on his part, actually. That was a good push. He kind of caught me off guard with that Lightning. I'm going to rocket this, though. I know he's got a Sparky, but I think it's fine because uh, defensive expo is really good against Sparky. So if he decides to go Sparky in the back, we can just defensive expo, and it should counter it pretty nicely. He also doesn't have his Goblin Giant back in cycle, so I don't think we'll have too much of an issue. Let's go ahead and set up a defensive expo here and see what he wants to do. So he's going to let that lock on. That's perfect. And... Um, Okay, we'll just log this. Yeah, that was really easy to defend, so that definitely was the right play. And we still have the defensive expo at a good amount of health. I'm going to actually Val uh, Valk and Queen the bridge, because I don't want to give him lightning value since we have the uh, expo up. And now it's going to stay alive and get some value on the goblin giant. So let's go cannon here. Okay, he goes... Uh... These cannon cards are actually really annoying. We have to... I'm going to expo here. Let's see what he wants to do. Ooh, interesting Skarmy. That definitely was not a good play. We're having a hard time getting an expo lock. At this point, we might just have to play... Kind of like passively and just rocket cycle anything he gives us. I'm not going to rocket that though. Maybe in triple, but I'm not rocketing that in double. I don't feel comfortable doing that.
Yeah, we're still winning. I mean, this has been kind of an awkward game, though. Wait, he had a minion horde and didn't use it the whole game? That is very odd. Can't quite say I agree with that decision. We go Valkyrie here. I decided to go in because he was super aggressive. But, um... That was a great rocket, nice. He's just spamming now. Oh my gosh, this deck is so annoying. <laughs> I'm in a defensive expo again. He locked on it, that's perfect. Oh wait, he, he lightning that, that's very interesting. I don't think that's a very good play at all. And that's going to be GG. Pretty easy matchup, but it's still one that's a little stressful. So, like, as you can see, you kind of have to make sure you're not playing any... Or uh, making any, like, major mistakes. Uh, we might have not even played perfectly. We might have done, like, one or two things that could have... I could have done differently. Like, perhaps switching lanes could have been, like, a viable option to catch him off guard. But either way, I mean, I think as long as you don't make mistakes, that should be one. Regardless of how you play, you should be fine. Alright, so we're 8-0 right now. We're two-thirds of the way through. It's going really, really solid. We've been getting some... I think overall we've been getting good matchups. And what's interesting is we haven't even played against someone running the uh, the Golden Knight yet. And as you guys know, or if you didn't know, in Grand Challenges, you can play champions even if you don't have them unlocked. So I'm pretty surprised we haven't ran into anyone running Golden Knight. But I bet you these last couple games we probably will. Alright, we're going to switch, switch a Rue right now. Okay, there we go. There's the Golden Knight that I was talking about. I knew someone was going to run it. I don't know if he's going to... Okay, he's going to go... Ooh, okay, this is E-Giant. This is E-Giant. All right, this should be fun, I guess. Not really, but... Cannon is way better against E-Giant than... The, uh... Than the Tesla is. I just want to say that. That's another benefit of running Cannon. Okay, he, uh, that was very aggressive. I'm gonna go, or, not aggressive, but that was very, it's time to punish, because he just went to E-Giant. Alright, let's see if we can defend this here. We're gonna go Cannon. If we, do, if we just don't lose our whole tower, we're fine. Like, if... if mm, okay, alright. Could have been... Alright, could have been worse. Could have been worse. That's still annoying, but could have been worse. <sighs> alright. By the way, this deck we're playing against is going to be pretty much dead after the nerfs. So you won't have to worry about it as much. And that was a horrible E-Giant on his end. He's probably... I know what he's going to do. He's going to mirror it, but I can defensive expo. Which is actually a decent... Um, counter. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this. And then he's going to EQ, probably. Okay, he played the EQ. For whatever reason, he decided to play it... On the right tower instead of the left. Even though the expo, he could have played he, he could have played the eq on the left it was it was in range but i guess he didn't for some reason um i don't want to rocket his tower just yet let's just keep defending well we don't need to like rush things because i'm worried about him like overwhelming us uh, what does a rocket do? Okay, we just need a rocket now with... Alright, we won, I think. 
Rocket and Log, I don't know if that does enough, but with Tornado, it definitely does. Yeah, GG. I don't think he played that well, but yeah, that shows you guys that you can still beat E-Giant, even though it's, like, pretty broken right now. But in a couple days, depending on when you guys are watching this video, because there might be a lot of you watching after balances are live, I don't even know how good that deck will be. Um, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Because Golden Knight nerf and, um... Only 10% though, but E-Giant's getting a massive nerf. I think that's what's gonna affect the deck the most. Alright, so we're finally against someone with Pass Royale. We go Cannon here. So if he's got Ghost, there's a couple things it could be. I mean, it could be Drill, it could be Pekka, it could also be 3M. I'm waiting. In this situation, it's better to wait. Because I don't want to... Yeah. It's 3M. 3M is... I don't know. I don't actually know what this matchup is. Oh. I misclicked the expo. That was painful, because if I didn't do that... I think we would have gotten so much damage. So I really screwed up doing that. Eh, we got a shot there. That's good, I guess. I'm just going to tornado this to the King Tower. I don't think this matchup is that bad, to be honest. Because the uh, the only thing is the, the Golden Knight will be very, very annoying. I can't even put into words... Mm. Do I really want to rock at that when I know he's got Mirror? You know what? I don't really care. We got the King activated. I'm confident we can defend. I don't want to rock at it because he gets an Elixir anyway. If he Mirrors the Pump, I'm going to rock at it though. But I don't want to rock at that. I, I, I just, I truly don't think it's worth it. Because you just Mirror it. So, it's whatever. Honestly, he can have the two Elixir. Cannon this. Oh boy, that wasn't good. Hmm. Alright, that was very aggressive. I feel like we could probably expo after this. Yeah, we're definitely gonna expo. Especially after he just decided to pump. I think this is gonna be pretty tough, but... We'll see how this goes, I guess. All defensive expo here. Hmm, okay. Our defense has been very, very good. But I don't know if we can defend in triple. It's going to be really tough. And that Golden Knight, too. That dang Golden Knight is going to be such a nuisance. But. Oh, gotta brace ourselves here. Let's see what we can do. Alright.
Wait, I think we're fine because the zaps don't do enough. Valk carrying in this match. Imagine if we had Knight. Just imagine. This guy obviously not happy with the uh, outcome here. Hee 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 ha. But we all know he's crying on the inside. I mean, I would be too. Expo's annoying. I get it. I get it. But 3M's pretty toxic too, to be fair. Yeah, let's take a look. That guy was decent too. Um, He had a... Uh, I mean, he had a top 1,000 uh, Royal Tournament finish, so, I mean, he was decent. Yeah, it wasn't that bad, actually. I think as long as you're careful defending the Golden Knight, it's probably not that hard. The Valk just kind of just kind of carries in that match. It's so good against the E-Barbs and also the Three Musketeers. And that defensive expo, too, is key. Like, in double and triple, you shouldn't play any offensive expo, I think. That's what won us that match. We just played really passive. All right, so... We're looking really solid in this GC, you guys. Okay, this is so unlucky. We don't have our... Oh, Expo's our last card. That sucks. Not having Expo is really unfortunate. I can't... Um, Man, this is really bad. Let's see what he does here. I'm gonna just rock at this. I, I don't know. I think it's fine. Okay. That could have been a lot worse. That's really unfortunate, though, that I didn't have an expo in cycle. It might be fine, though, because now I could expo here, and it's gonna maybe be hard for him to stop. Let's see. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna Valk. He's gonna have to use the ability, maybe. No, he doesn't. Okay, nice. Yeah, this is actually really good, too. But... Uh, here's the problem. He can lava now, and now I won't have my expo again. Mm, this is a matchup where I think... Well, no, nah, I don't know. Yeah, Tesla probably would be better this match. Even though Cannon's still decent, I feel like this is one where it would be nice having Tesla, because the our only way of defending the expo is with Queen, basically. So, f when for that uh, push opposite lane, it didn't work out due to not having... Okay, that kind of sucks. I'm going to ignore the entirety of the Lava Pups to save Elixir instead of Tornadoing. So this way we can go Expo. And this time I'm going to be able to defend it better. Ooh, actually, because he did that, I'm just going to let it be. Yeah, we're just going to... We're just going to do this. This might be a tower trade. This is not a good situation, but... Um... Let's see. Oh, the... Mm, that's GG. Because the left. It's unfortunate. That guy played pretty well, but it's also unfortunate I didn't have an expo. First, first lava push, because I would have gone expo seam lane. And that kind of definitely cost us a little bit, because our cycle got a little bit messed up from that point on, but still I probably could have played it a little better, but mm, that was unfortunate though. I remember like looking back at that, it would have been so much better to have it in hand when you went for that lava. Okay, let's go cannon here. Um, I don't think we need to do anything else. Okay, so we'll log this. Okay, drill I think shouldn't be a bad matchup, but of course it depends on the variation. Because some drill decks could be hard, like if they have drill cannon cart with golden knight, that's definitely not really easy. But in this case, this should be really easy because he's using um, this Skeleton King variant and we have Valk. So I think this matchup is quite good. I'm going to go Expo here. I'm going to wait till the Valk moves up though so he can't like fireball everything. We'll pop this. We'll go Log to take out the Dark Gob. And this might already be GG. Yeah, this is a really solid matchup because 
we have Valk, and Valk is OP against the Skeleton King. Even 3.0 has a really solid matchup against this, so this even more so because you have Valkyrie. So yeah, the next time he drills, we could also try to activate the King Tower if he plays it in pretty much any position you can activate, so we'll probably take advantage of that, but let's... Um, okay, we'll cannon. But this is already GG. Like, we pretty much already won, unless we make some, like, major mistake. It's just, like, it's it's a solid matchup, and with the start, I'm just, I'm that confident that it's over and we won. I'd, I'd, I'd really have to screw up pretty badly. Um, ooh, okay, well, that was screwing up, but, um... I don't know if that's gonna cost us that much because we still, first of all, we still have the lead and also, um, okay, he misclicked the Inferno, but, eh, it, actually, I'm gonna rock it because he just spent so much and he doesn't have his wall breakers in cycle, so it's pretty easy to defend his, uh, drill pushes. We can cannon, Valk this. And then we'll just log if he goes in for a Dark Ob. Yeah, that's a free log for me. Oh, shoot. The log didn't hit the Wall Breakers. I don't think it really matters, though. I'll just Tornado this to be sure, though. And, uh... Oh, wow. That was a horrible Inferno. I mean, to be fair, there's not really anything he can do, I feel like, at this point. It's just, like I said, it was already over when we got all that damage at the beginning. So, uh, that's not going to be enough to log in Tornado. But if he's going to give me that log, then I'm just going to log anyway, of course. And, yeah, that's going to be GG. There's not really anything he can do. It's a fat counter, so, I mean, not a really impressive win. But, hey, it's a win regardless, right? It's still win, so I'll take it. GG's. And we'll head into potentially the final game. We're at, uh... 11 and 1 here. So we have another life too. So if things get kind of kind of bad, we run into a bad matchup, it's all right. I mean, we got two chances. So I think we got it. I think we got it, guys. I'll see you when we find the game. All right, we're against Mini Alley 2.0. Good luck, sir. The queen. Okay, he's got Bats, Fire Spirit. So I'm thinking this might be that new drill deck that's meta. The one with Golden Knight and Spear Gobs. Okay, I don't know what this is. This is probably Mortar. I actually, I have no idea what this is. Uh, yeah, I don't, like, what? Oh, it is Drill. That's what I thought. There's that King activation. Okay, already an incredible start. We messed up the King activation against the Drill last time. Got it down now. Perfect. So, yeah, already a good start. A little bit of chip damage. Definitely worth taking to get that King activated. So, let's go Expo because I'm kind of curious what... Okay, he's got Rocket. Alright, 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 alright. So him having Rocket definitely not going to make things really easy. But, um, we could still work our way around it and try to bait his Rocket with, uh, like, Queens and stuff. But queens find Cycling in the back because his Rocket's out of hand. We could actually go Valk in front because he pre-placed the Valk, so he can't go Valk on top of both of them. So in this case, it's fine, including our Valk with this push. He might, yep, I had a feeling he would do that. Um, perfect. That was really good, that prediction. That got us a lot of damage. I'm really happy with that. We can rocket his tower because we're up a little bit of elixir. That's perfectly fine to do because if he goes drill, I'll cannon it. We'll get a little bit of damage, but we'll still have the lead. Nice. Okay, so let's go queen. And he can't really rocket cycle, I feel like. It's going to be a lot harder for him to do that than it is for me. Because I can pressure him with Expo and Queen. And he can't really do that. 
And every time he rockets, I can go for a rocket. So we kind of just have everything going for us at this point. That was a really good drill placement on his end. I gotta start... Ooh, okay, bad cannon. I was pretty certain that that was gonna lock on the tower, the expo, but he got the Valk down in time. That was well played. We can rock it, though. It's gonna be pretty close, probably. I don't know if he's gonna rock it. He oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's see where that drill was played. Okay, there's his rocket. Oh, one more is not going to do it for him, but if I get one more down, we win. He's calling it. Yeah, I think it's game because... Yeah, we got it. Nice! Let's go! That was a close one. That was a close one. I think he played pretty well, because that's for sure a good matchup for me, especially since he had Valkyrie. I think if he had Golden Knight, he for sure would have won. So I'm surprised he didn't use that deck with Golden Knight. Do people know we're in a Grand Challenge? You don't need to have the card leveled up to use it. Are people aware of that? Like, if he had Golden Knight, he would have won. And that Golden Knight variant is the one that's, a, like, used on ladder a ton right now. So I'm really confused why he wasn't using it. Um... But yeah, really good grand challenge. We get 12 and 1. Our only loss was to a matchup that I don't even think was that bad, to tell you the truth. I feel like if I had Expo in my starting hand when we went Lava, we probably would have won. So that was a little bit unlucky. But either way, um, you know, I'm not complaining. We won the grand challenge. That's what's important. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been a while since I've done an Expo video. This is the best variant, in my opinion. As I said, if you want to use Tesla instead of Cannon, you can, but I personally think Cannon is so much better, this meta, just because it's so much better against, like, Drill, you know, E-Giant, and just pretty much everything, unless you're against an Air Deck, and even then, you can still win. All right, so that's gonna be it. Thanks again. Until next time, guys.